Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have the Cal L of K A L dash E L L E Star Wars box. Uh, this box is technically the um, November box, and I will explain what's been going on with the company and everything like that if you're interested. But basically, it just came in this pink mailer, and so I pulled out an awesome postcard that came with it uh, for decoration and you can see this is the new uh, Rise of Skywalker um, episode 9 postcard so if you want to see what's in this amazing amazing Star Wars bag please stay tuned is designed to be a monthly fandom for women um, it primarily it has some jewelry and some other fun um, accessories that go along with different fandoms some of their upcoming themes um, outside of Star Wars are uh, Supernatural um, the Princess Bride Mulan and Star Trek those are the ones that I know about um, and basically this box is very well very behind as I said that this is the November box I did receive it in January but guys they haven't even gotten their December Supernatural box out yet um, I'm not signed up for it but I know someone who is they haven't gotten it uh, so at the end of the video I will tell you more about what's going on with their company and and the, the delays are not just because of the coronavirus this happened well before the coronavirus honestly it started when I ordered my X-Men box, which I posted back in September. If you guys haven't seen that, I highly recommend you guys scroll down and check out the amazing stuff that I got uh, from this company for X-Men. But for now, here's Star Wars. So, yeah, let's take a look at this awesome postcard. I think the DVD release of Episode 9 was on March uh, 31st. So, it should definitely be out by now. And uh, here's basically the product guide, and uh, it's thanking me for subscribing. Um, basically this this box always has a couple things of artwork and I'm eventually going to be getting some type of frame to put everything in uh, with a bunch of 4 by 6 because I, I do get some postcards from boxes so here is of course the Millennium Falcon Falcon Wow Millennium Falcon in a beautiful colored just colored picture I really love it and it says she's the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy so I really really like this this uh, print here and then there's another print that I suppose is probably related to uh, the Mandalorian on Disney Plus which I have not seen yet and I also have heard that episode 9 is not going to be released on D D um, sorry on Disney Plus until the summer so I might not be s spoiler alert guys please no spoilers on Mandalorian or episode 9 I have not seen either yet I haven't even gotten Disney Plus yet at this rate. I think I'll be lucky to get Disney Plus by summer. But anyway, I'm assuming this is a character from The Mandalorian. It's a double-sided artwork. Actually, it might be two postcards. Um, but and then, of course, is the all-famous slash controversial Baby Yoda. From what I've heard, everyone calls him Baby Yoda, and there's no confirmation that this is actually the same species that Yoda is. But that's just what I heard because, like I said, I have not seen the TV show so uh, but yeah these are I like that they're in these protective um, coatings that's really nice all right so I opened it up and these are two separate cards just in the same sleeve so I like both the artwork on this a lot I'm not sure if this is totally standard 4 by 6 though if I talked about putting it into a frame uh, but that's really cool I think I like the Millennium Falcon in the frame frame better anyway but I am kind of more of a classic Star Wars girl so let's keep going all right guys so another change that you'll notice is that this box my X-Men box came in a really really gorgeous um, like cardboard box with amazing artwork of different heroes and they did reduce just um, shipping for shipping costs they put everything into a pink envelope uh, which is totally fine. I mean, I, I'm really glad that I got the artwork box once so I can say that I got the artwork. But everything else came wrapped up in this um, plastic or plastic pa black paper tissue. So we'll take a look at what's inside. 
All right, so uh, I think each box that she does does come with some type of sew-on patch. This is obviously, uh, yeah, it's the Star Wars, obviously, sew-on patch. I was just, sorry, I got distracted because it seemed like it was coming apart here at the bottom, um, but it's not. It's fine. So that's pretty cool. I don't really have much of a use for a sew-on patch, but it is a nice decoration. Um, so moving along, there's two things, items in this little package so let's figure out what's in here all right so we have I'm really excited about this I love Princess Leia this is obviously from the newer movies as she Carrie Fisher is older may she rest in peace um, this is a magnet and I really love this guys I have a video of my crystal collection that I have not um, posted yet but I do show a magnet board that I have on the, sh the same shelf and I actually point out where I'm going to put this magnet so you guys will see in a later video where it's going to be uh, but at that point I hadn't um, filmed this so I wanted to make sure that you guys could see this awesome magnet and then we have a pin as well C-3PO he's not my favorite droid I must say he's definitely not my favorite droid but that's okay uh, this it's a it's a nice pin it's got a the, there's the backing and it says, I'm taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Which I'm pretty sure I remember seeing as a spoiler in the previews for Episode 9. So this is probably from The Rise of Skywalker. Um, honestly, my favorite droid, hands down, R2-D2. He is fantastic. I always, he, I mean, I'm just 100% team R2-D2. I also really liked the droid in Rogue One, and I'm totally forgetting his name right now, but he was really awesome. BB-8's cute, but I'm an R2 fan for life, for sure. So, anyway, I digress. Moving on. Alright, so next item you might have seen sitting over here in the bubble wrap is a Rebel Scum, and it's actually, a com I've opened up this box already, obviously. Um, it's a compact mirror, and it's actually, it's a really nice quality mirror. And I like that how it opens. I'm going to, oh, I gotta, I'm gonna try to show you guys this mirror without showing any reflections because we know I've done that before. So let me see. All right, so there's the mirror itself open. You just push in that little um, button at the bottom. It was really easy to open. It's real sturdy, nice quality. I really like it. I actually could use a small mirror like that. So I'm glad that this, that was in this box. I should be letting you know that the compact mirror, or both the compact mirror and the pin, are Cal L exclusive products, which is really cool. She does a lot of her own products and stuff, and I really like that about this box. Um, and there's more of that coming up real soon here. And I just want to say that the 4x6 art print, which I'm assuming was the Millennium Falcon one, was by Megan E. Risk, and she's got her own website if you're interested. But let's continue. I will say that all the jewelry usually comes in one nice little bag like this and everything. You can see some spoilers already, but um, I really like that I have the way she packages everything. Alright, so um, next are these awesome Darth Vader earrings. They're kind of heavy, but I think these are super cool looking. I don't have my ears pierced, but um, there's the backs. I That looks kind of long. I know some people like those little stopper things. Um, but I actually, if you watch Melissa Unboxing Mom, she's another channel, she got this box and she did model them and wear them. And they actually, on, they looked good on her. They, it wasn't like dorky or anything. And of course, I think she unboxed this um, and was going to a party, so it, like, it worked. But anyway, um, for, for earrings like this, you know, the X-Men box had little X-Men um, symbol earrings. And for pins, I've actually been planning on trying to get some type of pin cloth because I'm getting a lot of pins in boxes. Um, I've got an Amethyst pin in that Goddess Provisions box. I've gotten a X-Men pin. I've gotten now a C-3PO. So I, I still want to set up some type of cloth, and when I do, I'll show that to you guys. But anyway, um, so there's the earrings, and this next is the uh, this is a necklace. It's a Jedi Order necklace. And I kind of like this. I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this symbol is kind of new. For the Jedi Resistance and the Rebellion, like, I feel like this symbol came about with the new movies. Am I, am I wrong? Because I don't remember this from the classics. Um, but I really like this. It's got a nice, simple silver chain. 
and it's 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 nice and it's it's cool. Got your classic hook on it. Um, if I can insert, well, it, it it there would be no neckline for this. I suppose you just have to wear like a t-shirt <laughs> and then <laughs> wear it. But that's totally cool. And the last piece is probably my favorite thing. If you guys have spied, there's a bracelet here, and it's a cuff bracelet. And it says, may the force be with you. I don't know if it's just reflecting at all or if you guys can see the writing. But you know, I'm a huge fan of these cuff bracelets. Maybe I need to just hold it down here more. Anyway, trust me, it says, may the force be with you. And actually, I already have a cuff bracelet on. I am wearing one that says, not today, with a certain dagger. Oh my goodness, we're crossing fandoms. That's craziness, right? So, I now have a cuff bracelet from Game of Thrones, Star Wars, and as you've seen in my other box, I have the I Love You 3000 from Avengers Infinity Wars. So, that's really cool. So, let's see how the bracelet looks. Alright, um, so as you can see, I'm doubling up on bracelets here, fandom bracelets, woohoo! And there's so much sparkle and shine. Let's try it without lighting here. Um, if that's any better. Maybe you guys can see these bracelets better without the shiny light, reflective light. Um, <laughs> for all I know, my reflection is in these bracelets. But yeah, so it's, it's, this one's really big on me, the, um, May the Force Be With You, and I even tried to, you know, bend it and make it smaller, and I could hear it, like, cracking a little bit. I don't know what it's made out of, but this is pretty, this is kind of too big. Um, as you can see, the Not Today bracelet was much more malleable. It was tiny. It fit on my wrist much better. Um, but yeah, I still really, really like the bracelet, obviously. I'm still going to try to wear it in an unboxing, of course. I mean, why not? Um, maybe I'll try the, the lighting. I've got three different light settings. Maybe I'll try it a little bit lighter since so much of this is shiny. But I do like the brightness. So, anyway... This is the um, Kal-El box, and I uh, also want to let you know that this bracelet and this necklace are also ex kal -El exclusives. So I love that this box had tons of exclusives only to this company. You could only get these items, the ones that I said were exclusives, you could only get through the kal -El company, and that was the May the Force Be With You bracelet, the uh, Jedi Resistance necklace. Um, let's see, I'm looking at the... The um, Rebel Scum Compact Mirror, which is also a really nice quality, I might add. It's not a cheap mirror, like, at all. Um, the C-3PO enamel pin is also a kal -El exclusive. So, all those, and, and the art print, of course, is exclusive to the artist that, that did it. So, really, you can't find these item, most of these items elsewhere. I'm sure maybe the magnet or something, or the these earrings, but... Um, I really like that about the subscription. I absolutely adore this subscription, and it is such a shame that they've gotten so far behind. Basically, ever since I ordered the X-Men box, they got crazy far behind. There was one product in the X-Men box, I think it was the Magnet, that got arrived late, which sent that box out, and that just set off a whole cascade of her products arriving late. And... I heard apparently things for, I believe it was actually the Star Wars box at this point. There's been, there's been so many updates from her company that I've gotten a bit lost. But I think from this Star Wars box, there was actually, um, a lot of, some of these items came from China. And it came, it, you know, it, she, huh, it was supposed to come out in November, obviously, for the release of, of Episode 9. But it ended up arriving, I got it towards the end of January. And it got to the point where it had to be sanitized to come from China because of the virus. Um, so the whole box had to go through a sanitization process, which backed everything up even further. And from what I've heard, she's still waiting on one item for the Supernatural box, which was supposed to be December's box, like I said. Um, I, I, I think January's Princess Bride, uh, she's waiting for like three items at this point. And I don't even think you can order it anymore because she's still taking orders. Which is kind of messed up. I think she needs to stop taking orders until she can fulfill what she has. And it's such a shame because it's such a good box, guys. Um, as you can tell, I really like this. Back when I got the X-Men box, this was the very first one I ever decided to subscribe to. 
like and get multiple months of because I just absolutely loved it so much. This is so up my alley. Everything in here uh is totally awesome. Um and so I've heard the Mulan box being mentioned. I have no idea that you might still be able to sign up for that one, but guys, I honestly unless you're okay with paying up front and waiting months and months, but at this point I think we're going to be lucky to see some of these boxes. I just don't know if our company is going to survive. I don't know what's going to happen. It's really a shame because this, this is totally a great idea. There's really nothing else out there like this. I mean, there was Loot Crate, but you guys know Loot Crate went through a whole bunch of disasters all on its own. And it's a real shame that it's happening to this box too. This is a one woman owned business. So I do like supporting her. Bottom line is I've already paid for the Star Trek box, which is supposed to come out in March, obviously did not. We're, we're so many boxes behind. I think I'll be lucky if I see it by summer or fall at the rate she's going. I really, really love Star Trek and would really love to see this box, but I am going to cancel my subscription after this. I mean, I still will get the Star Trek box because I've already paid for it, but I just can't, under good conscience, I cannot recommend anyone signing up for this right now. I mean, unless you're okay with putting the money out ahead of time and hoping that, um, you know, literally fingers crossed that she will fulfill these boxes. Now, there is a thing if you don't want to wait, if you've paid for a box and you don't want to wait, you can get some of her past boxes. Like this box, I believe, is still available on her website. It was at one point. So you can still get this one, FYI. You can also, I believe the X-Men one was still up there too. There was a space theme one um, with NASA theme stuff that was up there. It had the cutest little astronaut earrings. I saw someone else unbox it. Um, I'm to the point where I'm debating getting the NASA one just because I'm afraid that I will never see the Star Trek one. But I'm still trying to hold out because I really want the Star Trek one, obviously. And if it does come out, I'm going to end up wanting to buy it. Uh, anyway, but the, I like this box too because we get a lot of products and it's affordable. It's $19 plus $4 shipping and handling. It may have gone up a little bit since I last checked because of uh, shipping increased prices uh, happening with the Postal Service. But anyway, so I've rambled on long enough. I've told you guys what's going on with our company. Buy at your own risk at this point, but I do love it so much and I really, really wish it became monthly again because there could be, she could be doing so many fandoms. Um, and, and this could be a real, I mean, it was a really great thing. She had so many amazing past boxes. It just seems to be lately. It's all gotten messed up. So anyway, let me know what your favorite item was in this box. Um, and, uh, please again, remember no spoilers for episode nine or the Mandalorian. And thank you so much for hanging out with me as I unbox the Kal-El Star Wars box. And until next time, I will catch you later. And if you like this um, video, please remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be doing a bunch of future unboxings with a whole bunch of different types of themes. So, you know, from you know me, be prepared for anything. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.